All right, so Kelly joins us today, and right now she's wearing the Revit Flare 2 women's riding jacket. Now, this is clearly a jacket that is built for those colder months of riding. It has that prominent hoodie, has a permanent sewn-in Hydrotex waterproof liner, and a full sleeve drop thermal liner as well. Not a lot of perforations, not a lot of vents. Again, keep this for those really cold days of riding. Now, it does meet CEA and CE Level 1 ratings, and it's going to cost you around $320. Now some notes about sizing. Uh, Kelly here is 5'8", 140 pounds, and she has a 37 chest. Now the chest measurement is different from a bust measurement. A chest measurement you want to take from armpit to armpit, so please do double check that when you look at the sizing chart. Now Kelly here is wearing a size 38. According to the sizing chart, it would probably put her in a 36, but we found 38 was an optimal fit in the riding position. Our recommendation to you is order one size down from what the sizing chart says for you. But do keep in mind that this product will ship to you for free, and as always, our price match policy is in place to guarantee you the lowest price available. All right, so let's hop into some of the features of this jacket. We're gonna start up top, and it is hard to miss this really cool looking hoodie. Now, Revit's gone to a lot of lengths to make this hoodie have a nice finish and look to it. So it is fully removable. There is a snap behind this little gator here that you can't see, and then up behind here, there's a high collar and the zipper where you could fully remove it. Again, when you look at the front of this jacket, it looks like uh, it's a permanent hoodie, so really well done by Revit on making this a nice and tidy design. Now, when it comes to your general main construction materials, this is a 600D material that has that sublimated digital print in it, kind of that cool metro, and in my mind, kind of like a snowboarder vibe in this jacket. Now, moving down the front of the jacket, you have your YKK zipper and a taller, like one inch collar here. Again, it's designed to help keep those elements out. It might rub against your neck a little bit, so just be aware of that tall collar. Uh, moving on to either side of the jacket, you have your typical side warmer pockets. And then moving up here into the sleeve, you do have CE level one armor in the shoulder and also down here in the elbow. And when it comes to other features worked into the sleeve of this jacket, you have a bicep adjuster there to adjust the fit around the bicep. And then down here in the forearm, you do have a little exhaust vent to push some air through. Now I wanna remind you again, it has that waterproof liner that is permanently attached to this jacket. So it's gonna give you a little airflow, but not like having just an open mesh system. Uh, Kelly, if you could turn to the side and hit the riding position for us. So in this position, I want to point out this jacket does have a slight pre-curve to the sleeve. It's not super aggressive, so I think it's neutral enough. This jacket's going to work in a lot of different riding positions. Moving on down through the waist here, there is a uh, cincher at the hem, so you could adjust the hem at the bottom. It'd be really nice to see in future iterations just a little zip gusset so you get a little more room, and this jacket could adapt to a couple different body types with that kind of gusset. I'm also a big fan of a waist cincher, so again, something to just help fine-tune the fit of this jacket would be cool to see. Uh, down the road. Uh, Kelly, if you could turn to the back first, please. So in this back view, I want to point out it doesn't come with a back protector, but it does have the pocket if you want to add one in. Uh, one little nitpick on this jacket, the hoodie has the snap back here, and that's good for keeping it secure on the ride. But let's say you're one of those riders that you're going to go ahead and zip that off. You're not into the hoodie. You're going to have this lonely little button sitting here on the backside. Um, this could actually be a good opportunity for a little flap cover that would have some reflective properties on it. In the rest of this jacket, there's not anything that has a lot of visibility to it. If you're riding in these really cold climates is probably pretty dark out. Just a little pop of reflectivity could go a long way for safety's sake. Uh, but some other features on the back side of this jacket, worked into the shoulder blades here, you do have uh, some more of that mesh venting system. A reminder again, you do have a waterproof liner, so it's not going to be a su super airflow through it, but it's a little bit of something. Uh, also like that this drop tail has a lot of coverage on the lower back. Uh, Kelly, if you could turn front for us and please unzip. Uh, so we got a bunch of stuff happening on the inside of this jacket. Again, I want to remind you that permanent Hydrotex liner. We also have that drop thermal liner that is full sleeve. It's not just a vest. It goes all the way. Again, for your cold months of riding, you're really going to appreciate that extra coverage. In that thermal liner, you have your stash pockets. I do want to point out that Revit put this little exhaust port of mesh down here at the bottom for that waterproof liner. So they are thinking about that and trying to help get some of that heat escaped out of the jacket. Uh, you do have a half zip connection in the back and belt loops if you want to attach this jacket to a pair of pants. All right, Kelly, if you could go ahead and zip up first, please. And that's the long and short of it. That's going to be your general overview of the Revit Flare 2 women's riding jacket. Again, for you cold month, wet conditions kind of rider, I'm thinking Seattle, Pacific Northwest, this is a jacket that's going to help you keep you dry and warm on those colder rides.
Now, if you have more questions, go ahead and hit the info button on your desktop or mobile device. It'll redirect you to our product page where you can see more product features and read some reviews from writers like yourself. If you have even more questions, please give our customer service a call. They'll be happy to find a writing jacket that best suits your writing needs. All right, thanks for hanging out with Kelly and I as we take a closer look at the Revit Flare 2 Women's Writing Jacket. I'm Jen, keep it on too.